Hey guys, how you doing? It's Matt Breyer, the Oz Creator from H2H Self Defense, MarshallFighter.com, FightAuthority.com. Today we're gonna go over um, some striking um, for self defense and for you know a real situation. But we're gonna take the approach that an MMA fighter uses. Uh, as I said before, Oz has had a lot, of, um, a lot of professional fights, and one of his uh, specialties and one thing he's very good at is ground and pound in mixed martial arts. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, you know defenses and as well as attacks. We're going to start off with attacks. In a future video, you'll see some defenses from being punched. Um, now these are very good techniques to open up your opponent to either go for a, uh, an arm break, a leg break, or, or some sort of fight ending technique. Uh, but it's also good to just knock your opponent out, stun your opponent out, so you can get away. All right. So we'll just talk about those things. And I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to let uh, one of my students come in as a training partner, and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, how you guys doing? I'm going to do some ground and pound techniques. I'm going to start in the guard. Say, for example, you got grabbed, you got hugged, and you ended up on top of somebody. Um, if they have any sort of knowledge whatsoever, they can keep you in guard, and, and it's a dangerous place to be. So you want to know how to strike them to get out of there, or how to pass so you can incapacitate them. All right, so... Um, you want to keep distance. There's two two ranges. You don't want to be in the mid range because that's when you're you're susceptible to his his own attacks. I want to either be here controlling his arms, and I can do the short distracting uh, punches and ground and pound, boom, body body head. You see that a lot as distracting techniques. You're not going to get a knockout blow from there. And then I want to be far away. These are the big shots here. I want to be uh, wary of him sitting up, but other than that, I'm okay from here because I got a lot of distance and I can really. Throw my whole weight. You see a lot of guys trying to come around, and if you just swim in, it's really difficult, you know, if I'm trying to come around like that to actually hit him if he has any sort of defense. So I want to actually, if you ever watch Fedor Emelianenko throw ground and pound, he really throws his whole body and he comes over hitting with those two knuckles, boom, here. Okay? So if you put one foot up, it actually gives you a lot of leverage here. Getting some nice distance, keeping away getting my trunk extension, and then throwing my whole body into it, and then controlling and coming back. I don't want to come here and then get caught, you know, have him, you know, a good jiu-jitsu guy or anybody really can, will want to control you if you're punching, punching them. So, boom, I'm here. Just remember the trunk extension. That's the big, that's the big uh, factor here. Throwing the big shot, and hopefully if I catch him, you know, flush, that's going to loosen him up. I can start to pass or get away. So, just one thing I want to go over before I move on from, from this position, we're going to go over a few different positions for ground and pound here, is elbows. One nice little technique you can use is, if you're not able to throw an elbow, you want to elbow him, for whatever reason, grab the wrist, okay? Boom. Okay? So you don't have to actually come here because then he's able to defend. If you grab the wrist, throw, throw the elbow and come back. Grab the wrist. Throw the elbow, come back, okay? Boom, boom, here, big shots. Okay, now he's he's kind of flustered, whatever, in shock. Now I'm here. Ground and pound from standing, we have a good transition into that. Now, chances are, if, if we're standing, if I'm standing above him, he's gonna have his feet here, whatever. I need to be control, pressuring down into him so that, because if he's got me far away and I'm, I'm trying to come in, it's really difficult. I need to, <clears throat> be controlling with my leg. I'm one leg in, controlling, my knees kind of pressing his leg down, and I've really got my weight down onto him. From here, the same principle applies. I want my trunk to be up, and then I'm throwing the big shots, and I'm coming over. So I'm not coming around or straight. I'm coming big overhand shots so I can get some, some big power in there. <clears throat> and if I want to use this to pass, I can do the foot grab. It's called a baseball bat pass for you. You're here, throw a big shot. Boom, throw a few, he's stunned. Now I can go away without fear of him running after me. <clears throat> All right, so we're here, boom, I'm controlling. I can even do both here, and now, now I can go away, okay? So there's a lot of different, obviously there's infinite amount of positions where you can actually throw ground and pound, but we're just gonna cover a few. So I just wanna, just gotta remember, pressure in, throw the big shot, okay? <clears throat> 